What's up guys, welcome back to Techie Anish. We recently made a video about the Moto G54 and we told you that it is the king of budget 5G smartphones. Now today, we have a pro version of the G54 and it is called the Moto G84 5G. There are some major differences, some minor differences and some similarities as well. So even if you haven't watched our Moto G54 video, don't worry, we'll tell you everything about the Moto G84 here today. It comes in a nice box with a wooden feel and the quality of the box is pretty good. First of all, just like the G54, the G84 comes with a fast charger and a case included in the box, so you don't need to spend any extra money on these items. The first difference is the display and it is a significant difference. Both phones offer a 6.5 inch full HD display with a 120Hz refresh rate, but the G84 has an AMOLED display while the G54 has an LCD display. The POLED display comes with 1 billion colors and a peak brightness of 1300 nits, which is definitely better in outdoor conditions than the G54. Additionally, due to the OLED display, the bottom bezel that was thicker on the G54 is now a slim bezel just like the other bezels. This one also looks like a pro and you know, when you have even symmetrical bezels, it just looks more premium. Now when we are talking about looks, there are some changes at the back as well. The G84 comes with a vegan leather back whereas the G54 has a plastic back. If you use a case, you might not notice much of a difference, but without a case, you will definitely feel a difference in the in-hand feel. Personally, I didn't enjoy this vegan leather as much as it can get dirty over time due to sweat on your hands. If you don't want a leather bag, you can go for the midnight blue color which has an acrylic glass bag finish. We tried to buy it in the red color, but it was always out of stock, so we settled for the marshmallow blue color. It weighs only 167 grams which makes it feel lightweight and comfortable in your hands and both phones come with a headphone jack which is quite convenient. Now let's look at the cameras. The G84 has a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS and an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens with a 120 degree field of view, just like the G54. However, the sensor on the G84 is slightly larger, so it might provide slightly better results in low light compared to the G54. The camera samples show you that you can take good photos with it with good dynamic range and details. Indoor shots are bright as well. It has a 16 megapixel front camera for excellent selfies. You cannot shoot 4K videos, but you can shoot up to 1080p 60fps videos because of a difference in the chipset, which I will talk in the next difference. Overall, the cameras on this phone are decent, but I feel that the 60fps video is a bit shaky. The next difference is in its chipset. Now, this is a difference, but it is not a big difference. How? The G84 comes with a Snapdragon 695 chipset while the G54 has a MediaTek Dimensity 7020. The difference isn't that big because when you compare the two, both chipsets offer similar performance. There are some minor differences like the Snapdragon 695 supports up to 1080p 60fps video while the 7020 does not. Now people tend to favor Snapdragon more because they think the Snapdragon chipsets are more premium and hence the price of these chipsets are also higher than the MediaTek chipsets. It's up to you which one you prefer, but both the chipsets are of same level and offer similar performance. Both phones come with 14 5G bands, so as always, motor phones are the best phones to use 5G and these two are no different. The next difference that you will notice is in the battery. The G54 has a 6000 mAh battery, while the G84 has a 5000 mAh battery. Why is that? Is the bigger battery not better? Well, of course it is, but the G84 comes with an AMOLED display which consumes less power when compared to the LCD display. So even though the battery is smaller, the battery life that you get on both the phones is very similar. It's not like one phone will give you way better battery life than the other. Both the phones will give you similar battery experience. Even if you compare the iPhone 15 with the iPhone 15 Pro, the iPhone 15 has a larger battery than the iPhone 15 Pro. Because the 15 Pro has a 120Hz display, it can manage the battery life a little bit better than the iPhone 15. So the battery life of iPhone 15 and 15 Pro are very similar. Now let us test the biometrics guys and you will find a major difference here as the G84 comes with an in-display fingerprint reader while the G54 came with a side-mounted fingerprint reader. Both the readers are lightning fast as you can see and the face unlock also works nicely. Let's also test its speakers now. So 
सो दिस आर स्टीरियो स्पीकर एंड आर वेरी लाउड एंड पंची मेकिंग इट अ गुड मीडिया एक्सपीरियंस डिवाइस एंड फाइनली लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू एंड दैट इज द प्राइस वो द फोन सेवर प्राइस गैप ऑफ टू थाउजेंड रुपीज Without the sale, the official price of the Moto G54 is rupees seventeen triple nine for the 256 GB model, and the Moto G84 is priced at rupees nineteen triple nine for the same 256 GB model. The G54 also comes in a 128 GB model priced at rupees fifteen triple nine, and with G84 you don't get a 128 GB model. These are the official MRP prices. But if you buy this phone during the sales and apply the card offer, then the prices are significantly lower. For example, we purchased the G84 for just rupees sixteen thousand six hundred and the G54 for just rupees fifteen thousand. So it's up to you to decide if the extra price of the G84 is worth for you or not. In my opinion, you should go for the Moto G84 mainly due to its AMOLED display. But if you don't have the budget, then the Moto G54 is also an excellent option, as we mentioned in our last video. So that is the comparison, guys. Which phone do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.